Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Reese52.com. In today's tutorial, we will make a static electricity detector or you can say it a ghost detector. It can detect static electricity from our hand even without direct contact. This is very interactive project for school kids. So let's gather the required stuff. For this simple circuit, you will need few things. 3BC547 transistor. 220 ohm register, 100k register and 1 mega ohm register, LED, 9 volt battery with snapper, some hookup wires or you can use jumper wire also and the breadboard and you need a wire stripper just in case you have used hookup wire. So the description for all the components is given in our introductory video of this kit. You can check in the link in the description given below. So let's get started with circuit. All the details also given in description. First of all, connect all three transistors to the breadboard with their flat side facing you, which each of their pins connected in different rows. While the flat side face to you, the pin in the left is the collector the pin in the middle is the base and the pin in the right is the emitter. Now connect all the transistor to the breadboard. like this so connect the base that is middle pin of the first transistor to the emitter of the second transistor with a hookup wire or jumper wire Similarly, connect base of second transistor to the emitter of third transistor with wire. Leave the base of third transistor untouched. Connect one end of the 220 ohm register to the collector of first transistor and the other end of the register to an unused row on the other side. Now connect the positive leg of LED to the positive rail of the breadboard. Since I have not connected the battery yet, so I will make a positive rail on breadboard. Connect the longer leg of the LED to the positive rail of breadboard like this. Now connect the 100K register to the one end of the collector of second transistor and the other end to the positive rail of the breadboard. Then connect one mega ohm register, connect its first end of the collector of the third transistor. and the other end to the positive rail of breadboard. Now, add one end of a wire or you can use a copper plate 
to the base of third transistor that is middle pin this is the middle pin leave it rest now add this battery snapper i will connect the battery later this is for positive connection connect the red wire and for the negative connection connect the red black wire now connect the emitter pin of first transistor to the ground pin of breadboard now at the power source we are using 9 volt battery so as for the output if you place your hand near the wire or the plate at the end of the circuit even without direct contact the led will light up and if you will take your hand away from the battery and the circuit the led will stop lighting i hope you will enjoy this video and this video will be helpful to you thank you for watching our video and don't forget to like share and subscribe to get more videos Thank you.